Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from No Tide Media because I was too lazy to put on a bow tie. And uh, we are doing another billboard tier list video where we're going back in time looking at the top 10 dance EDM electronic charts for the year from according to Billboard's top 10 and uh, putting them in a nice little uh, tier list. And we are going back in reverse chronological order. We are back now at 2017. Things got better. 2018 was, things were looking up. We'll see how 2017 was. It all starts with Calvin Harris featuring Pharrell Williams, Katy Perry, and Big Sean with Feels. Uh, this is a track that has a pretty simplistic beat. Uh, the features are solid all around while not being too flashy. There's these kind of big names here that you'd expect it to be a little bit more like star power kind of, yeah, I guess flash is just the best way to put it. A little, a little like kind of showy, but uh, no, it, it was, it was pretty tame all things considered. Um, I just love that kind of bass line paired with those kind of uh, Daft Punk like electric guitar chords. Them, the, I don't even know how to call it, like the disco electric guitar style, but this one, a uh, solid track. We're gonna put this one in A tier, A tier, starting off, starting off well. Uh, number nine track of the year uh, was No Promises by Cheat Codes featuring Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato shows up a lot on these charts, just FYI, um, on features. It's just, yeah, yeah. Uh, this song uh, felt, I would say, uh, not, <laughs> it felt flashier in my memory. It felt like it was a bigger track, uh, like sonically in my mind. And then coming back to this now, I'm like, no, the song is actually pretty down. It doesn't really get that high. Does It just stays fairly linear. Um, the synths were a touch too quiet, I would say. Uh, Demi's vocals are fairly standard, but altogether I'd say it's just a very safe song. It's just a safe track. So we're gonna put this in, in C. We'll put it in C tier. Then we've got Slide by Calvin Harris again, featuring Frank Ocean and Migos. The Migos, um, yeah, I mean, this song is iconic. It's hard to find, I think it's hard to find someone that doesn't like this song. I think the Migos killed it. I think Frank Ocean killed it. Um, there was a clean handoff between the two in the middle there as well. Thought the vocal chops were classic, despite no one really know it. No one really knows what they're saying. Anybody gonna care? Uh, a boy with a pipe. I, I might. I might like they're only words I actually know from it. And I've even looked up the lyrics multiple times and I still, I, something a boy with a pipe, I think. It doesn't really make a ton of sense, but everyone knows it and they don't actually know it at the same time. So it's it's quite fun. Uh, this is again, Star Power done really well. It's the perfect kind of soft closer to, to round off the track too. This is a absolutely solid, fantastic track and it deserves S tier all the way. Then at number seven, the seven top track of the year was Paris by the Chainsmokers. And uh, just a heads up, we're getting into Chainsmokers territory here. We're getting into mainly Chainsmokers territory. Uh, this one really has some of their worst own singing in it. Uh, the Chainsmokers have never been great at vocalization and, and I don't know, per vocal performances. And this song is just a testament to that, I think. Uh, there's just, I don't know, it's just so monotone with and linear again, like I've said, and it's just... I don't know. They're not singers. They're producers. And even that is a stretch. <laughs> but um, yeah, for opting out of the kind of standard structure for a very soft first half that transforms into a biggish relatively finale, um, it was different, I would say. But that finale is also underwhelming in the sense. And so just the song just fell flat. And I think I'm going to put this one in D tier, D tier. Then we've got Rockabye, Rockabye Baby, uh, by Clean Bandit featuring Sean Paul and Anna Marie, or Anne Marie. Uh, of all the songs that I think uh, helped reggaeton become hit the mainstay that it is nowadays in 2023, uh, I would say this was one of the ones that really seriously like, kind of paved the way for reggaeton to be as popular as it was. I know it was popular, but to really hit huge, massive top 10 charting, um, I would say this was a huge song that, that helped with that. So that being said, though, uh, overall, I thought the song was fairly mid. I can't really hate the vocals or production, but I also I always don't really... I also don't really find anything interesting about it. So it's just, I don't know. It's just very meh. And so we're going to put this in D though. We're going to put it in D. Then we've got Let Me Love You by DJ Snake featuring Justin Bieber. Another very big track that a lot of people know, whether or not you know the title or not. Um, especially that people just think it's the Justin Bieber song is, is probably the best way to put it. But yeah, this has summer vibes written all over it. Um, Bieber, Bieber gives a fairly standard performance here, I think, but it's, uh, it, it's really that simple beat behind the vocals, uh, that stays, that stays there the whole time, pretty much the runtime of the track that is just like that iconic boom, 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 boom. Just that, does that beat just keeps it going the whole time and just is screams summer, screams Bieber. It just screams like, you know, this song pretty much it's instantly recognizable on that beat. And uh, that being said, you know, not a bad track. We're gonna put this one in B, B tier. 
Then the number four track of the year was It Ain't Me by Kygo and Selena Gomez. Um, the track that really put Kygo on the commercial or into the commercial limelight, I should say. This is the first time he hit the top 10 on the Billboard charts uh, in Dance Electronic with this track, and it kind of introduced the world to Tropical House for the first time, at least into the masses of Tropical House. But it's, it's a pretty good track uh, to do it with, I would say, as well. One of Kygo's betters, uh, kind of Kygo's better. Selena puts a pretty good performance in, and I would say uh, Kygo, st while still keeping that kind of signature drops he has, added a little bit more variation in his off-drop sections that are a little more uh, keyed in on Selena's vocals rather than any production. So uh, this one's solid. We're going to give this one a B. We're going to give this one a B tier. And then we've got number three, Stay by Zed and Alessia Cara. Uh, Zed's uh, har like, I don't even know what to, harmonized vocal processing that he does is just great. And this is in full swing here on this track in particular uh, with a kind of long pre-chorus lead in. Uh, Alessia probably gives, I would say one of the best vocal performances on any kind of commercialized Zed track. Um, I think she really went for it and I think it it shows and is a highlight on this track. Uh, Zed uh, kind of learned uh, to keep his commercial drops a little bit more simplistic and ended with a pretty good song as a result, I would say. So uh, we are again gonna put this one in, in B tier, in B tier. Then at the uh, penultimate number two track, we've got Closer by the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey. This has got to be, I got to say, one of the worst Chainsmokers tracks. It just, it just has to be. The drop is so lifeless and boring. It's got that kind of awkward pacing all throughout that's hard to dance to as well. It just feels like it's a, it just, the whole track feels awkward. And my goodness, the lyricism and lyrics are are, are not great. Vocal performance is, is not good, I would say. Halsey's okay. Um, but yeah, all, all things being said, it's not like horrible bad. I'd say it's just regular bad. <laughs> I hope that makes sense, but we're gonna put this one in E, not quite an F, but. And the number one track on the charts this year in 2017 was something just like this. Again, that made it onto 2018 list, but by the Chainsmokers and Coldplay. Uh, like I said before, I think the synths are hella weak and Chris Martin's vocals are a little stale, but the song is a bit of a bop. Uh, this is one that I feel a little bit more okay with turning my brain off and just enjoying it. I think of all the big chain smoker songs, this is one I think that more commercial people, more like of my family and friends like to actually listen to and enjoy. And so I, I kind of can't hate it for that in some area, but I don't know. I, it, it, it's the most enjoyable, I think, of their, of their big crap songs. But uh, that was 2017. Uh, top 10 dance charts on 20. Oh, we're going to put that one in C tier. C tier, C tier. Uh, that was it for 2017, though. So let me know what you think of any and all songs and of my list in the comment section below. Other than that, I am No Tide Media uh, or Dakota from No Tide Media. And I'll see you guys in another video.